Hello everyone, my name is Gwen. Welcome to Chocolate Time Recipes and Inspirations. Today we are making Black Forest Trifle Cake. This is that incredible cake with cherries and whipped cream and we have pudding on it. It all just works. Now, the trifle is the way to do it because the flavors intensify as they are absorbed into the cake. And of course, we have some rum, which, e which even heightens all the flavors of this wonderful dessert. My inspiration for today is a favorite movie. I love Jerry Maguire. First of all, the cast is amazing and they do such a, a fabulous job. You have Cuba Gooding Jr., Renee Zellweger, and Tom Cruise. It is funny, but heartwarming, and it's a wonderful, sweet love story that if you haven't seen, it's one you really want to see. Our recipe. What you will need is devil's food cake that I have already made. So, so if you prepare that, you need two packages of instant pudding. This is the four portion package, so you need two of these. You need um, three cups of whipped cream, so I've divided it up, or you can use Cool Whip, any frozen whipped topping, a can of uh, cherry filling, pie filling, so I've divided that up as well. You need half a cup of rum, I've divided that up and I have some chocolate shavings to sprinkle on top of the cake. So, how do we make a black forest trifle? What we're going to do, our nine by 13 cake, I'm going to divide into three. And I'll tell you why I'm dividing it into three is because you only need two thirds. So I'm going to, you know, Keep a portion aside. You can freeze it. You can do whatever you want with it. But just remember, we only need two thirds of the cake. So the first portion of the cake, I am going to break up and crumble. And we're going to put in the bottom of the pan, the trifle dish. Okay. Um, you can pour the rum over the cake and the rum seems to work so well for this dessert. It works well with the cherries, everything. The next layer that we are going to put on is the chocolate pudding. Now before I put the chocolate pudding on, I want to tell you when I made this, I made the two boxes in one mixing bowl and I did not follow the directions because instead of four cups, you need three and a half cups of milk for this uh, particular recipe. So two boxes, three and a half cups of milk. It just makes it thicker. So the chocolate pudding, it seals in the rum so that when I add my next layer, it'll be a little bit easier to um, add. Okay, the next layer will be our cherries. So let's take a look. Nicely sealed. And so we just put this layer on. And all uh, the very last layer is going to be the whipped cream. Some people use frozen whipped topping. I like whipped cream, but it all depends. The one thing about the frozen whipped topping is if you are in a hurry, um, you just take it from the freezer and quickly thaw it out. But uh, the fresh is quite nice. So we are going to repeat the same procedure for the last layer. There's only two layers that we need for this uh, recipe. This looks so pretty. What we're going to do is add, uh, so I, I've done two layers and this is the final um, topping is the whipped cream. 
but I have reserved a little cherry, a little bit of the cherry pie filling to put on top to make it more decorative. So, before I do, before I put the cherry pie filling on top, I'm going to sprinkle some dark chocolate just to give it the Black Forest cake look that we all love. So now I will put some cherries on top. And we have a beautiful um, dessert to take anywhere to have at home that we can all enjoy. I have a lid that is so useful um, for trifle. That's the other thing about trifle. You can put it away really nicely in the refrigerator. It has to be kept refrigerated, preferably at least four hours, but overnight is really good for all the um, flavors to be absorbed. This looks so good. This is my favorite part. These recipes are wonderful and I get to taste them. Eat them. The rum, the cherries, the cream. It is amazing. You can bring this to any potluck or have a lovely dinner party and really have an incredible dessert. I really enjoy sharing these recipes with you. Thank you for joining me at Chocolate Time. And here's to you.